Oh, it's that cursed logo again. Ubisoft. Somehow, we play surprisingly good Ubisoft games on this show. That is... The, the colors are horrendous. <laughs> it's supposed to be, though. It's supposed to be. Hey, guys, we're still not playing anything on a consistent basis right now. So I was like, we may as well not play something that we could beat in, like, two weeks. Because we, uh, anything we put in is so terrible that we, we can't had... stand to go back to it. Yeah. Yeah. So we're playing Scott Pilgrim the game... You can't buy this anymore. This game is no longer available on the Sony eShop or the Microsoft Store. That sucks. Nowhere. It's gone. It's disappeared. And I, I, I think it has, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure what the deciding factor is there. Probably just a licensing thing since this is a movie licensed game. But holy shit, is this... One, is this maybe my favorite... I, I don't know even what to call this. Whatever. I'm, I'm going to stop trying now. I'm going to stop trying. This game is after our normal cutoff date, which is, you know, still an ambiguous thing at best. Yeah. But I figure the video game... The comic books came out from 2004 to, like, 2010. So I think that makes it reasonable. Plus, it's still PlayStation 2. No, no, this is a PS... This is a PS3. This is a PS3. Oh. Eh, good enough. It's a PS3 game meant to look like a really, really fucking awesome Super Nintendo game, though, so... It's so loud. It I, is. I, select your difficulty. <laughs> Believe me, this game's a bitch. We're going average Joe. Thank God. I was really worried you were gonna make me do rough and tough. <laughs> I can't even... I, I, I think I once beat the game on Rough and Tough, but I can't touch Supreme Master. So, yeah, I am I am one of the... I am a huge fucking Scott Pilgrim nerd. I own two editions of all of the comics. I own the free Comic Book Day edition comic that came out in, like, 2006, 2007, which most people don't even know exists. Scott Pilgrim figurine. Ramona figurine. Both of which cost dumb amounts of money. I believe it. Okay, so hit X to join. We're doing another rare, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, guest is fine. We're doing another rare, uh, do, you know, uh, team up game on the show. I'm gonna be my favorite character in all of Scott Pilgrim. Always gotta go Wallace. The only question is to sweater vest or not to sweater vest. Ooh, that's a better blue. Yeah. I, that last one, they, there's like, you know, that last one gives her Scott's coloration, funnily enough. That is funny. Yeah. Uh, sweater, I, uh, you know, sweater vest. sweater vest. Wallace is a real favorite character of mine. Okay, here we go. The game will, you know, I'm just gonna toss this in there. Just, uh, just hit buttons. I'm sure it'll work itself out. That's what I do when I play Beetle Ups, <laughs> and I, I'm assuming that this is... At least kind of a beat-em-up. Yeah, it is a beat-em-up. There's going to be two Wallaces on the screen for a moment. There's another Wallace. <laughs> Snowy Toronto. Get to Scott's show. This really... Oh, my lord. I have... Oh, boy. I'm sorry. I'm freaking out a little bit about how much I have... I haven't played this game in too long. And, again, it's really a shame that once... If this PS3 ever gives out, I'm not gonna have it anymore. Unless Scott Pilgrim becomes relevant again at some time at some point here, and maybe we'll see a re-release of this. Bam. I need some Canada. I love that I have a hammer. Yeah. Is this thing gonna break or not? There we go. So I mentioned it to you not long ago. Um, I was playing. I've been playing Beat Street on uh, on the iOS store recently, which is a which is a really solid beat 'em up. Okay, so everybody's got special moves. I think I just one of us just triggered ours by accident. It looked like no, not exactly a special move. You can summon knives Chow to give you uh, boosts and stuff. So we just got a giant cup of coffee, which increases our speed and attack power. I do love coffee. Yes. She was not playable in the vanilla version of this game. She was DLC. As was Wallace, and he's 
just a skin, basically. He's he's just a skin over Steven, but, I mean, it's except... I'll, I'll take what I can get. Uh, yeah. Keep just bashing them with anything you can get your hands on. Did I, am I dead already? Oh, no. No, I have... I, Asshole! I hit you with a hammer, <laughs> bitch. I love her hammer. Yeah. Why you block it? Gotta get a pussy. I guess this guy's clearly the game's attempt to teach us how to use the grab mechanic. Or the triangle attack, I don't know. I, I don't- I had totally forgotten about it when Wallace does uh, one of his- Yeah, when Wallace does his uppercut, he's a- uh, his his attack beam is his his like motion outline is rainbow colored, which is hilarious. No. Nope. Oh, shit, dude! I just got hit by a bus. <laughs> Story of my life. Have you been hit by a bus before? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did the coffee thing again. I just keep smacking him with my hammer. I don't know how I'm activating. The it's a shoulder thing. button. Although, uh, you know, given given how bad some of my PS3 controllers are, it's possible it's happening totally unintentionally. Uh. They just... <laughs> yeah. Can we just... There was a... There was a oh. My. You found the purse attack. Careful, you're burning... You've got... You've got that... See that secondary... See the blue numbers underneath your uh, underneath that counter up top? Uh, yes. That's uh, that's your special attack meter. That's how you do the uh, knives summons, and that's how you do your spinny. No, you can just do that indefinitely. Maybe it's because you're hyper caffeinated. No, nope, no, I can't do it anymore. Ah. Hillcrest Park. What a wonderful place to get. Fuck. I'll get you back up. Hang on. Shit. Can I just... Wake up! Wake up! Sweet! New move for Wallace. Oh. Fuck, somebody just like threw a bat at me. <laughs> I kick you in the face. You know, people say Canada's so safe, but I'm not so sure. I'm not sure Canada is... I'm not sure if Canada's anything like this. I want... It's not... It's somewhere I want to spend the rest of my life. Um, I don't know if I'd spend the rest of my life in Canada. I'd spend the rest <laughs> of my life in Little Canada. What's Little Canada? It's a city in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I really feel like uh, I think if there's ever gonna, if there was gonna be a place called Little Canada, it yeah, would yeah, sure it as fuck be in, in stands Minnesota. Stands to reason. Oh wait, hang on. I think if, I think we can go back here. We'll try walking back here with me. There's a couple of hidden areas. No, no, I mean like into the background. Oh. No, not here. Okay. Ow. Uh, left, left, square. Or triangle. It'll give you a uh, running attack. Ugh. Oh, you picked up a snowball. So I know, like, I know you're not really familiar with the comics as far as Scott Pilgrim goes. Yeah, not the comics. I have seen the movie. Right, right. Uh, that's kind of like, that would be, that would be kind of a big fact, that's kind of a big factor here because, uh, the accuracy, the accuracy of these character sprites is, like, totally dead on with their comic book counterparts. So this is actually, you know, as far as, uh, did I just hit you? No, I threw a tire and it bounced back at me. <laughs> Ooh, he dropped, uh, I don't know what these Canadian coins are called. Oh, damn it, attack dogs. Ah, this is my worst nightmare. I think that's... I, I recognize that sound effect. 
They used that same fucking sound effect like 20 years before this game in Earthworm Jim. Also a very good game. A very good Super Nintendo uh, Genesis era side scroller. How are you just gonna come on the screen and immediately start punching me? I mean, Canadian street thugs. They'd be thugs, man. Do they exist? I have no idea. I feel like they've gotta exist. The Canadian Mafia. <laughs> the Mafia, I Do guess. Do they wear red? <laughs> I mean, there was, uh... There was my character. Okay, okay, wait a minute. I smell my banana bread. We must stop all things. So, ooh, I picked up a sheet of ice. Are you sure you want to stop all things? Yes! <laughs> we must stop all things so I don't set this place on fire with my banana bread. That sounds weirdly sexual, Michael. In a way that I'm not sure what it means, but it sounds sexual. So it absolutely belongs on this show. Oh man, the bottom is definitely a little burnt. Oh. If not a lot of burnt. Hey, baby. My banana bread's gonna burn down your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Oh, there's oh, a secret my passage. God. Ah, come over here and hit circle. Oh wait, no, I hadn't I had energy to spare. Just leave him. Come away with me to the pride dimension. <laughs> I love the rainbow zone. Hooray! Oh boy. Oh. So much money. We have different money totals, I just noticed. Oh yeah, no, I definitely noticed that the whole time. <laughs> and I'm not that much further ahead of you. I don't know when I got caffeinated. I must have picked something up. Now it's a barber shop in there. I'm gonna beat you all with trash cans! Ah, that's really funny, because that's the name of my favorite drink. Trash can? Yep. What's in a trash can? You're beating them with me! Yeah, I mean, what else would I do? I mean, it wasn't her. That's what I call gay bashing. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> Alright, so in a trash can. That deserves a well played. That that was. I'm, I'm quite pleased with that one. Uh, in, in a trash can. In a trash can, there is gin, triple sec, tequila, vodka. Um... Yes! Uh, some other shit. Basically, it's... It's a, a pint glass, which is also... You would know it more commonly as just a regular old glass. Yes. Um... Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know that it was called a pint glass. <laughs> I've read I've read The Hobbit, I know what a pint glass is. <laughs> Okay, here's here's something cool. All of the stores on this street can be walked into. That's cool. And they all are kind of a lot of them are overflowing with Scott Pilgrim -y continuity. Kinda looked like that kinda looked like that big thug was like helping me out there for a sec. It's like, oh no, come on. We weren't done fighting yet. Eh. Um, anyways, no, so it's a pint glass. Uh-huh. And it is, uh, depending on who makes it. I'm checking out this store. Somewhere between half. Woo! I don't need any coffee. Uh, you know what? I don't understand. So, we, spe we can spend our hard earned money buying things. Um, okay. Give me a hot chocolate to go, yes. So now if I die, I can be revived by my hot chocolate. Oh. Also, Scott's, Scott's uh, sister is working the barista stand right now. Scott's sister's a bitch. I, have, I take no issue with Stacy Pilgrim. Oh, 
Um, you can't really. You, you just gotta. You just gotta guess at their stats. Uh, I'm gonna be a basic white bitch. No. I'm gonna be basic as fuck. Ice, ice latte. If you pick to go, it'll revive you if you die. Nope. Um, I can also lend you money. Oh, that's cool. This game's got a lot of mechanics to it. It's a. Uh, this whole thing is is a is an extended love letter to this old NES game called Hey, it's Neil. It's young Neil. Why you suck so bad, Neil? Tex Mex. Featuring Scott's not girlfriend from the comics. Definitely getting quesadilla. Just on principle. Because <laughs> I like You can't take any of those to go. I like that they give everything a, like, lengthy description. Yeah. Grilled meat served on tortillas. I'm good. Thank you, Lisa. I'm good. <coughs> um. Okay, that's the thing. I can name every fucking NCP in this game. That's Tamara. That's, uh... I don't need any... I don't need any 7-Eleven junk. I don't need any A uh, to Z... So depending on who makes a trash can, yes. it is somewhere between halfway and three quarters of the way full of straight alcohol. <laughs> Hard liquors. Well, you did say it was your favorite. It is my favorite. Um, and they, s it's kind of a specialty of the bar that I frequented. Yes. Um, oh, and it's got a blue curacao in it. That, that too. What is that? That's another straight alcohol. Okay. Um, Getting real sick of your shit. And then on top of that, they take a Red Bull and they turn it upside down on top of it. And then. This is such a bad idea. Oh, yeah, no, it's terrible. And then it slowly drains down into the drink as you drink it. So oh, What the fuck? It's Who struck me? I, I didn't even know they could walk in the stores. What? I've been playing this game for years and I've never seen that. Um. Oh, dude, this sushi bar, I gotta buy something. <laughs> On principle. Hello, what would you like? The best food substance known to man. Salmon nig nigiri. That works. Um. And so it's more than a pint glass worth of alcohol, <laughs> is the funny thing. Yes. Um. Uh, and, like, you're drinking it, and nobody realizes that you're drinking it faster than they think you're drinking it. Because, you know, it's more than a pint glass full of alcohol. Yes. Sorry, other Scott. Sorry, Joseph. And it's, like, eight bucks at this bar that I go to. <laughs> Which, if you were to break down, like, the individual prices of the shots of alcohol... Yes. It is so much cheaper. Hey, Julie. And it's delicious. Eh. <laughs> so many references. These are records. Yes. Uh, music that bends the space-time continuate and continuum. Kupak, a, a band consisting of only, of only one, one member. member. Clash of Demon Head. They're so deep. Um, smashing turnips. Yeah, give me that. All of these things like give you stat boosts and whatnot. Are they indefinite? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, I don't have enough money. But I remember, you know, one of the keys to beating this game is to buy shitloads of stuff. Flat iron? A, is this a clothing store? It's a bookstore. Oh, oh, damn it! Who are you? What's what's her name? I know her name. Oh no, it's a bookstore. Yeah. Give me a copy of Lost at Sea, that book on my shelf over there. <laughs> also funny. by Brian Lee right O'Malley. Next to all of your Scott Pilgrim because stuff. it's by the same guy. That's funny. Oh, I can't leave this store if I don't decide who that is. I think that's Holly. Uh, n Holly has dark hair, though. Is that... It's not Sandra, it's... Oh, it's Monique. I've decided that one was Monique. I'm going to name every NCP we encounter. That's How do I run? Push uh, forward twice. We can- we can do this forever. That's Mrs. Chow. That's Knives Chow's mother. Very stereotypically Asian-looking mother. 
fucking every time. <laughs> you have not had good luck with those buses, no. Eh. Also, this game's soundtrack, fucking gorgeous. The best chiptune music, like, of anything I've ever heard. There's a secret shop down here, but we can't afford any of its goodies. Yeah, there it is. Not all that secret. I didn't know about it back in the day, though. When you walk right past it, it just opens. Oh, well, you, you gotta get close up to it. Let's see if I can't afford anything. Nope. Hey! It's me! Okay. I run this shop. It's the only place in the game you can get extra lives for a long time. There's another- the only other place you can is, uh, the video store, which we walked past without going in. But you have to pay off Scott's late fees first, which are like 200, 300 dollars. <laughs> a reminder that we've, you know, I'm carrying 640 right now. 640 what? 640 dollars. Uh, 6 dollars 40 cents. I was gonna say. 710. Eh. Just die already! I seem to have gotten- Ha! <laughs> I got too far ahead! And this guy bashed me! Are you st are you ever doing that- that Knives Chow thing on purpose? <laughs> I do not feel good about beating that Doberman with a bat! Eh, it, actually, I'm not gonna make a comment on that because I feel like that like crosses some line <laughs> that our show hasn't crossed yet. Animal cruelty. I don't. I don't feel like we've crossed that line yet. No, we haven't. <coughs> Ugh, fucking! I've got a shovel. I'll use it to bury you when it's over. Yeah. Look at that like super serious look on Wallace's face. Another subspace highway. That makes me think of, like, the Monsters, Inc. thing. Yeah. It kind of was like that in, uh, in Scott Pilgrim, yes. I did not do that. Okay, it just... I... Uh, it has never stopped bothering me that this game, which owes so much of its, its existence and is overflowing with references to old Nintendo games... Never got a release on a Nintendo console. That it's like seem a little fucked up. It's like on the one hand, yes, this was during the PS3, Xbox, Wii era, and I understand that the Wii wasn't getting a lot of stuff. But look at this! It's it's a glorified Super Nintendo game. I am playing this. We are playing this in composite. We are playing this in non-HD. I cannot see a difference. <laughs> You totally could have released this on the Wii eShop, and you are picking up all the coins as I am knocking them out. <laughs> one of these is a trick one, I think. At least as my memory serves. Yeah, well. Boss fight. End of first stage. Oh. That's Crash and the Boys on the stage. It's the concert. Yep. So, I mean, of course this is the next phase. There is... There's Mikey. No, Jimmy. Jimmy and Wallace making out up top. I'm... St Even while Wallace is still... I've got a little... I've got a little martini. Uh... Knives' friend Tamar Tamara is upstairs. Along with Scott's sister, still. Oh, hey! Crash and the boys did not die in this continuity. Which they didn't in the comics either, but they did in the film. Oh, give me all of the Bollywood boss music. Please. That doesn't look like something I want to be next to. Do I, need, <laughs> do I have to attack him? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta take out the demon hipster chicks. Yeah. In all likelihood, this is the only part of the game so far that should look familiar. 
to this you. This part looks incredibly familiar. Yeah. That's also because the movie and the comics were about more than just running about knocking heads together. Eh. You can just focus on- you can just focus on him. We should have enough life to finish him off. I've still got my snacks. I'm pretty sure I've still got my snacks. I've still got my hot coffee. No, you do not. I do not. And you're out. Oh, but you still had some, uh, you still had some juice left. If you, uh, if you go down, your if you die, and, uh, you've got some of your special meter, some of your, you know, the, those, uh, your special meter will, can be converted into life. Oh. Yeah! No! Get up! Get up! Get up! Boom! Ten really cents. all he dropped? Yeah. Seems I mean, wrong. in the comics, that was about all he dropped. Those people on the sides are not legit NCPs in the comics. I just noticed, like, Scott's sister, in her standard standing there pose, she's always rolling her eyes. Yeah. Seems about accurate. It is. Boom! We're out. Did we just teleport into my purse? You did. Oh. Oh, look, they're me. There's Ramona, there's Scott, there's Kim, there's Steven. And there's the Space Needle in the background. Mm -hmm.